how police are searching for a stolen French bulldog they say was taken after a man was shot and killed in an apartment complex in Buckhead. The shooting happened on Sunday at the Willow West and Lindbergh apartment complex that's right on Garson Drive. We're talking that area of the Lindbergh Marta station. Christy Diaz joining us this morning with more on the shooting and also the stolen dog, Christy, this neighborhood rightfully on edge. Rightfully so, Aisha. This was a bold and brazen crime that happened in the middle of the day on a Sunday afternoon. Picture this at the apartment complex. There was crime scene tape, dozens of police cars, investigators swarming the area all before 1.30 in the afternoon. Now, witnesses say 22 year old Jaden McKinnon was walking his dogs outside the Willow West apartment complex in Lindbergh when police say someone came up and shot him. Now, police won't speak directly to a motive here, but they do confirm there is a French bulldog involved and photos of that dog have been circulating on social media. Other dog lovers in the community are now on edge, rightfully troubled that someone died just trying to walk his dogs. We all know all the dog owners here because the dog community, there's a huge dog park in the back. I'm troubled because I, I feel like I just moved in here, so I'm wondering if I picked the wrong place. And I have a standard pure poodle, which is a very um, coveted breed, so. So, Christy, these people are really waking up this morning, still shaking, looking for answers. What do we know about the shooter? No one is in custody at this point, Aisha. Police say they tracked down a car that fled during a traffic stop later in the afternoon. They say that could be connected to this case. But at this point and as of this morning, police have not released any information about suspects in this case. Back to you, Christy. Thanks. And a police still trying to identify the suspect who shot and killed a man at an apartment complex and then stole a French bulldog as they made their escape. Tonight, we're learning more about the man who was gunned down as neighbors tell us they're now afraid to walk their own dogs. The apartment complex sits along Garson Drive Northeast near the Lindbergh Center Marta station. That's where Teresa Bowles brings us the latest. Jeremy Scott left for brunch and came home to what he describes as a movie scene. I'm going to have to start carrying my pistol. If we in the wild, wild west, somebody need to let me know. Crime scene tape, dozens of police units, investigators everywhere, all before two in the afternoon. This is broad daylight on a Sunday. I just moved in here, so I'm wondering if I picked the wrong place. The victim, identified as 22-year-old Jaden McKinnon, was shot outside the Willow West and Lindbergh apartment complex. The officers responded and located the victim of the shooting who is uh, being attended to by residents. McKinnon was later pronounced dead at the hospital. Witnesses tell us off camera that he was simply walking his dog and then something went wrong. Atlanta police haven't confirmed that, but mentioned that there is a French bulldog involved. The photos of the adorable Frenchie are spreading on social media. Scott says this sequence of events is coming as a complete shock to this canine loving community. I have a standard poodle, which is a very coveted breed. This is Miss Blanche Marie, and if someone tried to take my dog, I would act very aggressively as well. Police are still investigating what led up to the shooting. So far, officers later recovered a vehicle that fled during a traffic stop. However, no one is in custody, nor do we know who the suspect is. We are investigating the circumstances surrounding the shooting. We are looking at some leads. We have recovered a vehicle that left the scene that we believe was involved. So all people were doing on Sunday night were merely speculating about how this tragic turn of events could happen while keeping their heads on a swivel, ready to protect their furry friends or themselves if need be. If that's indeed what happened, that's troubling. And we do have security here, but I guess they don't do much. In Atlanta, Teresa Bowles, 11 Alive News. And we were the first to break this story for you. To stay on top of the headlines as they happen, make sure you have our 11 Alive News app. You can scan that QR code right there on your screen to download it, and it is free. Good morning. Today it is Monday. It is August the 14th, the year is 2000. 23, I'm just getting my day started and around a late start today for some reason. Normally, I, I'm, uh, well, I was up, but I guess I was reading some news articles and I was doing a little research on what I wanted to do a video about today and I found this article, this story that just really disturbs me. A young man, 22 years of, 22 years of age, uh, living in Atlanta near the, just a little uh, west you know, east of Midtown, a little north of Midtown, in Lindbergh area, walking his dog, shot in the neck, um, dog stolen. I mean, who? You shoot somebody over 
of over a dog. Man out walking his dog, gets shot, dog stolen, and he dies in route to the hospital. They shot him in the neck, he bled out. You have to wonder what is going on with these guys in their head. These 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 heathens, these animals, these wild monsters roaming these streets looking for a damn victim with a dog walking a dog and I'm still the damn dog. Man lost his life over a fucking dog. Killed by some heathens, some wild animals running these streets of Atlanta. You know, everybody wants to live in these inner city neighborhoods, but damn, they're so dangerous, you gotta be careful. And that area up there is not that crime ridden, it's in the city, it's in, in a relatively, it's in a neighborhood just <sighs> south of Buckhead. I mean, I have to look at a map, but I know Lindbergh area very well. I mean, where can you be safe in this town? I know crime could happen anywhere, but y'all, y'all better start choosing areas where the crime rate is lower. I know a lot of people want to be in the city for various reasons, be closer to stuff, maybe closer to their job, maybe closer to restaurants and retail, maybe this or more. Uh, but there's a price that comes with living in these urban areas within these cities. Um, the crime is just, you know, it's insane. When you can get shot and killed for a, a dog, walking your dog. You can't, I mean, in between the carjackings and the shootings and the robberies. Well, I'm not exactly sure what to say about this story because it disturbs me. This man is he's, he's dead. He's only 22 years of the he lost his life. Then they stole the damn dog. It's like, you gotta be kidding me. Is it, was this all about a dog? Did they, did they do, I could see, because you know, I've heard about these these dogs being stolen out of people's yards. Um, from just, um, you gotta be a pretty sick person in the head to go, I'm gonna take this dog. Y'all yeah, know there's some niggas that did that shit too. You know it. But again, I, 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 have, I always meet people in the first and they say, I want to live in a black neighborhood. I want to live around my people. I want to live around the Okay. I don't. Y'all better learn to say, I want to live around upscale, outstanding people. Race should matter. Y'all keep flocking into these neighborhoods and apartment complex and filled with all these black folks and shit. The crime is off the damn chain. It's so weird because when I lived in Atlanta, when I had apartments, Back in the day, in the 90s, 80s, 90s, I had apartments. These apartment complexes were quiet. There were no break-ins. There was no crime, no shootings, no nothing. Flash forward to today, you got upscale apartment complexes in upscale neighborhoods having all kinds of shit going on. And y'all know these rents ain't cheap no more. This shit high as hell. So I got to pay all this high-ass rent to risk getting shot and killed while I'm walking my dog. Because these hyenas, these wild, crazy heathens, these animals running the streets uh, are looking for victims. Sometimes you just got to go a little bit further out and stay away from these monsters. They can't find you. Right here we eat these damn crickets and cicadas out here in the trees making a lot of noise. There was a house that hit the market a few weeks ago in my neighborhood. It was cheap. I called everybody I knew. I said, y'all go look at that house. It's cheap. I don't like it. It's too far out. No, I don't think they, nobody had vision for the house. I said, paint the brick, put a new roof on it, do this. I was like, this is it's only three hundred some thousand dollars with no big house. But for somebody living in an apartment, this would have been perfect for them. I suggested they take a two-hour uh, uh, construction loan to uh, FHA. They can renovate the house, get a new kitchen, bathrooms, all this stuff, and then they might turn their nose up at it. Um, yeah, they rather stay in these apartments paying three and four thousand dollars in rent. Three and four thousand dollars in rent. To live in a neighborhood where your cars are getting broken into. This house needed some work, but it had a two-car garage. It needed a roof. 
Oh yeah, the roof was good. He could have got by, but he did eat the kitchen. He needed some, he needed some work, but it was habitable. Because some of the pre pre previous people had been living there. Yeah, I think people living in this, living in a fantasy world or something. A safe neighborhood with a reasonably priced house that you can't find nowhere. Sitting on a large lot, private, by yourself. Habitable. Clean it up. Move in there. Get out this high-ass rent. You got a garage to park your car. You can walk your dog safely. Some of y'all not making wise decisions. But hey, who am I? Now, I, bought, I purchased my first home at 23. I was sick of the apartments at that time. I was 23 years of age when I bought that house in Stone Mountain. And my mortgage payment was only $750. So, they have programs out here where you can buy a house with 100% down, I mean 100% no down payment, the down payment assistance, they help you renovate the houses. Um, if the payment is where you want to be, and you know, but these apartments, y'all, y'all just, y'all, it's not, it, it, it's, it's, no, it ain't working. Cars getting broken into, people getting shot. There have been multiple incidents in the past few weeks of people being shot and killed in these apartment complexes all over the city. And some very expensive apartment complexes. This shit ain't cheap. You paying upwards of $1,500 to three plus thousand dollars in rent and you have to risk your life just to take the trash out or walk your dog or park your car. I don't get it. So I'd rather be in a house. If you can afford that type of money in rent, you can afford a house. They got programs out here. They will put you into these homes. Y'all better, and they got programs specifically designed for minorities and African Americans. And y'all turn y'all nose up at it. Everybody ain't gonna get a brand new house. They too expensive. Sometimes you need to go into an older home. I think older houses are more stable. This house I was telling everybody about was a brick house. I think it sat on like two acres. It was just a little small ranch, but if you wanted to expand it later, it was room to expand, but it was big enough for the money. I think it would have been a safer situation than how y'all they turned their nose like, mm, I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. That house sold within days. And the people who bought that house, um, they put the roof on there. But they did need, need a new roof. I saw that they painted the trim, they didn't paint the brick. I wish they painted that damn brick over there. That brick would have been beautiful. They painted that brick and put some shutters on that house and landscaped that yard, but they working on it. They did paint the eaves around the house after they put that new roof on that roof and the house looks a whole lot better and I see they got a dumpster out there now and they ripping out their kitchen in there of course it was some white folks who brought it and it just sat there for a minute didn't sit long though a little small ranch doesn't spectacular but anyway yeah I think we better start making my decisions these apartment complexes are too dangerous it's like that guy said in the video he got security there Nobody's in the middle of the day, broad daylight, you're walking your dog, and here come these animals, these heathens, and shoot and kill this young man and take a still his damn dog in the middle of the day. Anyway, it's gonna be a short little video because I am running behind this morning. Um, th that story kind of disturbed me. That kid was only 22 years of age. Y'all better be careful out here. Make, start making lots. And, and I don't fault him for anything he did wrong because he didn't do anything wrong. He's about walking his dog. But y'all, there are home loans available out there so you can get out of these department complexes and into a safe neighborhood. There are ways to buy down the interest rates, ways to get the money to renovate the houses. You do a 203K. The FHA, Federal Housing Authority, will give you the loan of money to renovate the house and fix it up. Y'all working jobs, you're going to work every day, you can afford these houses. If you can, if you can afford this high rent, you can afford a house. You might be much safer in that house, depending on the neighborhood now. Uh, you know, some of these neighborhoods, you gotta avoid them too and buy a house. Um, I, prior to purchasing this house, I looked in areas in um, Oakland City, Pittsburgh. Um, uh, I looked in a lot of, lot of areas buying city looking at all this stuff but the thing that got to me about this area is the houses were expensive and the crime was off the chain so I said why am I going to buy this high ass house over here and literally had to fight these heathens out here in front of my house it ain't worth it in some of these neighborhoods some of these places you just gotta say fuck it excuse me
but I'm approximately be a 10, about a 20 minute drive from downtown Atlanta. I don't go down downtown Atlanta any damn way, so it different doesn't make. I can't even tell you last time I've been downtown Atlanta. Maybe driving through. It's, it's just very disturbing. But, um, give me a short little video. I gotta get dressed to get out of here. Today is Monday. It is August the 14th. The year is 2023. Y'all be careful. Watch your back. Put them phones down when you're out walking in these neighborhoods. I don't care. Be careful. Because there's always somebody watching you, ready to make you another a victim of their foolishness. You gotta keep an eye on when walking, when out doing anything. Yeah, man, that young kid probably wasn't even paying no attention. Probably been texting on his phone and they were waiting to see. And they saw that dog. They said, we're gonna get this dog. Just how niggas are. They're just heathens. Wild animals. They don't give a fuck. They didn't shoot him up a fucking dog. He probably was fighting with the ass and then they shot him. And took his pet. It's just insane. I mean, so I can see, I was walking these two dogs and somebody said, come up and try to take them. I'm going to say, well, hold on, let me get the dog food, the kennel, and the water that they like to drink and all. So just wait right here, take these dogs, and then we go get everything else they're going to eat in their toys. Bike racing, and y'all going to have a new life with these heathens out there. I'm going to miss y'all, bye. Go back in the house and blow the dough job. Insane. Killing somebody over a damn dog. People have lost their lives. I mean, they've had so many shootings at these apartment complexes out here. It is insane. Every time I got shooting here, shooting there, these are high in apartment complexes. Be careful. Because that's where they're heading to the places where they think people got money in these expensive apartment complexes. Go someplace and live safely. Get out of the city, go a little bit further out, be somewhere safe. You don't have to always live around these old crazy ass black folks. Go someplace where you can be safe. Like the car in the garage. You don't have to worry about getting hit across the head, taking your groceries in the house. Or shot and killed just simply walking your dog. Today is Monday, August the 14th, year 2023. I'm out of here to enjoy the rest of this beautiful Monday.